Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Vlog. This is episode 201, and boy, did we get some good stuff today. Actually, this article is so good that I'm probably gonna break it up over to two or three videos, like smaller videos. So in this episode, we're just gonna focus on the images, because that was the first thing I saw today, were two images that were released, one of Eddie Brock, which I'm gonna put right here, and you can see he's being interrogated or questioned, or maybe just you know, got caught by Riz Ahmed. This could be happening, you know, early in the movie. Maybe it's when he gets the symbiote, gets infected. Although in the trailer, it kind of leads us to believe that the woman who breaks out of her containment unit passes the, the, the infection onto him or the suit or symbiote onto him. So uh, I'm not sure it's, you know, this is early on. I'm thinking maybe this is towards the end and maybe those lights are somehow like, you know, maybe they've done enough tests at the Life Foundation with symbiotes that they know that these lights, maybe they generate some kind of noise or sound that is keeping the symbiote inside Eddie, you know, because obviously sound waves can hurt it and everything. Um, I don't know. I don't know where this happens in the movie. So if you guys have a, a you know, a theory on that, let me know down in the comments below. Um, but then the other image, the big one that everyone was like, you know, writing me all day. And I was like, look, I was at work. I went, I've been at work all day. I mean, my work schedule this week has been crazy and I still haven't been feeling well. I've had a migraine since maybe Tuesday. And right now it's like, I have this light in front of me and I'm trying to record this and I recorded another episode already. So I'm going to try to just spit through these really quickly and just have them and I'll upload them as soon as I can. Um, and I'm going to try to make it to work tomorrow. I got, you know, there's a lot of things I got to do. So I'm, I'm hopefully I can get this stuff to you guys as soon as possible. Um, um, but the second image, the one all of you guys are freaking out about is this one right here. And look how amazing he looks like, oh my, like, dude, like, you know, even not feeling well, I saw that image and I was like, dude, just get through the day and make this video because look how awesome this is. I mean, Venom looks so great that the, the actual smile goes up to the back of his eye. As you can see it on the screen here, you can see that the, the separation from his mouth is still going above his eye and you can see kind of like tendons or something you know and you see the suit trying to connect together and they're leaving like fleshy patches under there and it just looks so gross and awesome and cool and uh, i know a lot of people are like oh they fixed the eyes it's like well you can't really say they fixed the eyes i guess i mean i guess you could um but in the trailer we saw there was a different scenario going on he's you know he's standing over someone he's you know being imposing he's you know screaming at someone he's like we are venom you know it's a more intense scene this one we don't know what it's from but he kind of looks like he's leering down at someone it kind of reminds me of that you know todd mcfarlane image where he's like you know venom's in the corner waiting for mary jane or whatever and when she's like freaking out and he's kind of like you know he <laughs> you know kind of thing um so i'll put that side by side comparison it kind of reminded me of that um but looks great. Again, we don't get a shot of the chest. I think they're saving that for Comic-Con or the next trailer of what exactly is going to be on his chest. I'm thinking it's probably just going to be those veins making like a, a certain, like maybe it, maybe they make like a symbol on his chest or maybe it looks like it could be a symbol. So you can argue there is one. Who knows uh, what they're going to do with it. But just seeing this look is so good. Like the teeth just look like long bones uh, coming out of his face. <laughs> I mean, he just looks so awesome. I, I love this. This image looks so fantastic. And he's like in a well-lit room. So it looks like he's in a hallway, maybe a lab or maybe like an office because you can see white walls behind him. And he's kind of like looking down and stuff. And so I'm like, oh, that's great. We're not going to just get him in the streets or like, you know, in, you know, scenarios outside where he's like lurking around. We're also going to see him in a fully lit room and see how monstrous he can look and everything and I dug that a lot um, so obviously I'm going off on this big rant on how awesome this picture is uh, but I love it I think a lot of people out there uh, I saw a lot of positive uh, reactions on it today I saw a lot of people posting about it on Instagram which is really great and to any kind of buzz on this movie that is positive it gives me hope and it gives me hope that maybe other people will give this movie a chance and I know it doesn't have spider-man in it but maybe it'll at least give him a chance to think that hey you know what Spider-Man aside, this is Venom. He looks cool. He looks pretty great. And, you know, I just I just want people to be excited. And, uh, and hopefully people are. And so I want to hear what you guys think. Because I know some of you probably still don't like the look of, the, you know, the costume, the Venom suit. You know, they probably still don't like it. But what do you think of this image? Like, I'd love to see that. Because so far, I mean, I've been surrounded in my little bubble of Venom fans who are really into this. But I'm sure there's a couple of you out there who might have a different opinion. So let me know that in the comments below. And we'll definitely talk about it. Because uh, I know every time I like hearing feedback, uh, whether it's, you know, people who agree with me or not, I want to hear it. Because, uh, you know, 
hey, maybe there is something that's missing on the suit. But when I look at this image, I just freak out and the, the inner fan in me just like takes over. <laughs> it's like this, my own symbiote comes out and it's like, shut up, you know, journalist, we're going to be a fan now. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I'm very excited for this. Uh, but there is a lot of information that came from the article that these images came from, from Entertainment Weekly. And there's some real good stuff to dive into. So I think we're going to make that a separate video when I feel a little bit better because there's a lot of stuff to go through. There's a lot of Easter eggs in here and little things that they hint at that could be plot devices for the movie that I found very interesting. So I'll put a link below if you want to read it, you know, now and so you can check it out. And then, you know, let me rest, let me go to work. And then tomorrow night I'll come home and I'll film another video for you guys and we'll dissect this awesome article from Entertainment Weekly and we'll talk about some of the news that we get here on our countdown to Comic-Con, which is just five or six days away now, I think. Five days away if you count preview night. So we are getting very close to Comic-Con and we're getting very close to that trailer. We're one week away exactly to the next trailer. So I'm very excited. So I will make it up to you guys in the next video. I just wanted to get this video out quickly so we could talk about the images themselves. But the information will come later. Thanks for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.